Hi everyone, this is Janet Smart of Country Living and we're going to make a blueberry crumble today. Now you start out with a quart of blueberries. You can use frozen or, or fresh. Okay, you mix two tablespoons of all-purpose flour and two to four tablespoons of sugar. I just did it in the middle, get three. It's ever how you, you know, how sweet you might want it or how maybe tart your fruit might be. Mix that up. You pour that in your berries. And then you also do a tablespoon of lemon juice. Kind of a quick recipe. It's a good one to make on Sunday to have after your dinner. That's what we're going to do. I like to have a dessert on Sunday. Stir it up. Nice and good. Now, this is all we do. We put it, make a topping to go on it, and that's. That's kind of the best part. I love the topping. <laughs> now, the topping, you have a, okay, a quarter cup of sugar, quarter cup of brown sugar, three-fourths cup of quick oats. Now, if you'd rather use the other kind of oats, you can, but I, I prefer the quick oats. And three-quarter cup of all-purpose flour. Now you mix that up. And you have one stick of butter melted that you add to this. crumbles. I make blackberry crumbles too. They're good. Now I've got another video on here where I make chocolate covered blueberries and that's all there is to it. I'll put a link to it at the bottom in the description and I'll also put this recipe at the bottom in the description. Those chocolate covered blueberries are very very easy and very good. Tasty. I love toppings. I make muffins a lot and I always put toppings on my muffins. Makes them better. Now I guess if you wanted to you could even put some chopped nuts in this topping. That would be good. Now you might have to start using your hands here in a minute. Get your hands dirty. Good. And then you get the little clumps together and you put it on top of your blueberry mixture. Now the oven has been preheated to 375. Crumbles are easy to make. You just have your fruit and put your topping on top of it. And as I've stated before, we got a lot of blueberries this year. We've already uncovered one of the bushes, and I, I noticed the uh, birds have found them. <laughs> what was left? Mockingbirds really love blueberries. Now, you see how good this is going to be?
Now, this is all there is to it. You bake it for 25 to 35 minutes in a 375 oven. Take it out and cool it for 10 minutes and then enjoy it. It's really good. So I'm going to stick this in the oven. We're going to have it later after dinner and I'll show you a picture of it. This is Janet Smart of Country Living. I just took this crumble out of the oven, nice and brown on top, and the blueberries are bubbly. We're going to let it cool and enjoy it in just a few minutes.